a recap of Snake Eater. Maybe you wanted to be ready for MGS5, well, you've come to the wrong place my friend. The game starts with telling us that after World War II, the Cold War started. If you don't know that, I, I don't know what to tell you. Our hero, Jack, Snake or John, they never really decide what to call him. He's getting ready to jump from a plane, and everyone around him tells him jumping from plane facts. He jumps and we get to see the Major explaining the mission to him. Snake, your mission is to retrieve a scientist named Sokolov. Sokolov? Isn't he that rocket scientist? Nah, his main field is erectile dysfunction. Then he switched rockets because it's surprisingly similar. I guess we need him for the Apollo program. Y yeah, I mean, President Johnson did say I need my rocket to go up. Snake lands in the Soviet Union, and the Major calls Snake to tell you about a fake death pill that you will never use. Then he introduces you to your team. There is him of course, then there's Paramedic, who you call to save, so I guess she's some sort of time god. Then there's Snake's former mentor, a woman called The Boss. Hello Snake, it's been a while, how are you comrade? Huh? I mean, how are you buddy? I'm fine. Remember that fighting technique that we developed? Remember to use it, because it's very overpowered. Then when you get back maybe we can play some CSGO. What? When you get back we can play some Call of Duty. You make your way to the building where Sokolov is. I'm here to take you to America. Well that's lovely, but you are forgetting that this is a Hideo Kojima game. Ah. Let's make things a bit more complicated. Sokolov explains that Khrushchev is weak and this supervillain looking guy is planning to take over the Soviet Union. But right now he wants to seize Sokolov's secret weapon. You will never be able to guess what kind of secret weapon that is. Then he also tells Snake that his Russian is superb, to point out that they are actually speaking Russian right now. Honestly though, to get around in Russia you only need to know Sukabliet, and you can probably become a lawyer. These guys show up also a lot. Snake takes them out all by himself. It sure would be fun to play this part. Snake also tells the leader that he should start using a revolver, because in the first game his name was Revolver Ocelot. They leave and they see the secret weapon he's been working on. A giant robot. Yes, it's useless in modern warfare, but it's very badass. They are about to cross a bridge, then Snake's mentor shows up, then a couple of video game bosses, the Cobras, show up. And they take Sokolov. Also the main antagonist is there. Snake's mentor beats him up. This is going to happen a lot throughout the game, so get used to it. Then she throws him off the bridge. But don't worry, he survives, because he's the main character. The baddies are on a helicopter and the main antagonist, Colonel Volgin, decides to nuke the place. This doesn't seem very safe, I would just like to point that out, and you aren't supposed to look directly at the blast. Snake sees this and then the theme starts. Holy shit, the intro was one and a half hours long. It's one week later and Snake is on a plane and has a flashback. Okay, listen Snake, Khrushchev contacted President Johnson. There was a nuclear blast in my country, and we spotted your plane. But you know what? I have decided to forgive you. I mean, it's only a couple of months till Christmas. Yeah, right. And it's even closer to real Christmas. Oh, you capitalist scum. So Khrushchev gave us a choice. Spend millions of tax dollars infiltrating Russia, risking our top agents. Or admit that Russian Christmas is also real Christmas. <sighs> Your mission is simple. Kill the boss, kill Vuldrin. I'm not a killer. Yeah, right. Look at him. Never seen such a final boss looking bloke. Also rescue Sokolov. Third time's the charm. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He's such a dead man. Snake lands in the Soviet Union and his mentor is there, then he gets beaten up. Told you it would happen a lot. The boss takes his gun, but a little later he meets up with his contact on the inside, Eva. She gives him a new gun and they talk about that gun for about 50 minutes. At least that's what I think they are talking about. Ocelot shows up again. Surrender or I'll shoot her. Go ahead, I just met her. Okay, that's a problem, uh, I did not pack any ammo. And Ocelot gets beaten up again. Our hero travels through the jungle and eats snakes, then he faces Ocelot one more time. Ah, we meet again, but you will not win this duel. Twice now, you have made me taste bitter def- Ow! What the hell, man? You just shot me! What? You can't just do that! Ow! Then a bunch of wasps show up and Snake is forced to jump into the hole. Here you meet the first member of Cobra. Hello there, I'm the Pain. I control hornets and similar creatures, so you better be... Prepared. This seems like a long-range stealth attack. I, how are wasps going to protect you against bullets? Uh, hmm, should have seen that one coming. Snake reaches a house where he sees the baddies talking about stuff. So Bumblebee guy is dead. 
Well, I guess you won't be attending any Sting concerts. Haha, <laughs> am I the only one who's been puking blood since I fired that nuke? Snake sneaks into the house to rescue Sokolov, but to everyone's surprise, he's not there. But this old scientist is. I bet you want to know how Vol'jin can afford all of this. No, I really don't care. Well, you see? No, I don't care. Tell me where Sokolov is. I shouldn't help you, but I am pretty pissed off for two reasons. I wanted to design good, advanced, efficient weapons, but Vol'jin said no. Giant robots. Second reason, why, why am I only person in game with Russian accent? Yenot Polaskun. Sokolov is in a facility far away and you have to travel a fair bit. Thus begins the eat and fight the boss part of the game. Wow, the controls are so stupid! Wow, this is stupid! Change the date on the console and he dies of old age. Huh. Nice jetpack, bro! Thanks! Want to see them used? Huh. We've made it to the facility and we meet Sokolov in our disguise. Our giant robot was pretty much done. But then the black market started selling DVDs with famous American rapper Exhibit. So we had to put the rockets on it. Also it's the only weapon that can fire a nuke anywhere on Earth. Vol'jin wants to mass produce them and sell them all over the planet. Obviously in that time NATO would have figured out a countermeasure. But to the average American, if a small African communist paramilitary has a badass epic robot and the US don't... Well, then the Cold War is already lost. It doesn't take long before Snake is discovered, then beaten up again, then imprisoned. Then the plot of the fugitive happens and Snake jumps from a dam. So you're walking in water and everyone you've killed throughout the game is walking past you. I have no idea what's going on right now. Then Snake dies. But remember how he had a useless fake death pill? Well, he also has a useless fake resurrection pill. How did he eat the pill? How did it resurrect him? Well, the answer is very simple. Go fuck yourself. Snake, sleeping on the job, mate. No, I jumped from a dam, I was unconscious, and I was drowning. Yeah, right, then what? Dog ate your homework? Snake makes it back to the facility and puts C3 on the giant robot's rockets. Then he gets captured and beaten up again. We get it, he's not a very good fighter. You probably want to know how I can afford all of this. Please don't. You see, at the start of the war, the Allies put a bunch of money in a pile. Wasn't very smart, but to be fair, they were very high. My father was in charge of protecting the fortune, but at the end of the war, amidst all the confusion, he stole it. No one stopped him when he said he needed it to fix a printer. You see, my personal army and this giant factory is me being modest. I can actually buy France. Vol'jin decides that he isn't going to execute our hero, he's going to fight him. But based on Snake's track record, that might be the safest bet. And in one of those famous Hideo Kojima plot twists, Snake actually wins. But oh no, the C4 is about to blow, but oh, Eva has a motorcycle. Yay, we did it, yay! But oh no, Vol'jin has entered the giant robot and he's chasing after them. At least that's what they say, I can't see it. Oh, now I see it. The camouflage painting makes the giant robot almost invisible. Eva has planted C3 on the bridge. Yay, we did it, yay! But oh no, it failed. Now this tank armed with multiple machine guns has to face this guy on a motorcycle. So the tank is dead and Vol'jin steps out slowly. So slow that Snake could shoot him. Shoot him him. Pew pew! To be fair, Vol'jin should be dead many times over, so I'm guessing he's immortal. And you know he gets pissed when someone is immortal? That's right, fucking God kills him. But obviously the game isn't over yet, we have to face our mentor. Jack, you probably want to know why I really defected. I don't think you actually did, you've saved me far too many times. Dick move bro, I have this huge epic speech about patriotism and loyalty, and you are going to listen to it. Now, I have made a call, and they are going to blow up this place in 10 minutes, so you have to defeat me before that. When did you place the call? 
10 minutes ago. Oh. They bombard the place and Snake's corpse gets disintegrated. But don't worry, he still got one of those pills. Snake enters a plane. Ocelot then falls out of the plane. Also, this entire thing has been an homage to James Bond. So our main character is Shag. But when Snake wakes up, there's a message from Eva. Hello, Snake. I need to tell you the truth. You see, the boss, she... She... WAS DEAD THE ENTIRE TIME! Okay, that's not exactly what she says, but honestly I can't recap an entire Metal Gear game in 10 minutes, I had to improvise. Just play the bloody thing! And that is the Killian experience. Like, subscribe, etc. I cannot do this every other week anymore. Summer's over, sorry. So I'm going to try to do them every third week. But with like filler between episodes, so like a close enough lore between episodes, etc.